بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سورة الزلزلة إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها إذا when زلزلت it will be shaken up what will be shaken up الأرض the earth the entire earth will be shaken how زلزالها with its earthquake زلزلة what is zalzala? Zalla is to slip. Zalla to qadam is the slipping of the foot. Zalzala. There is takrar lafzi. There is repetition of the letters, which means there is repetition of the action also. So, a situation in which the foot will slip not just once, but again, and again, and again. Zalzala, therefore, is earthquake. It is to shake, to convulse. So what will convulse? The entire earth will convulse. How? Why? Zilzalaha. Zilzal, its final quake. Meaning with its most violent rocking, shaking. The likes of which has never happened before. The earth, yes, it shakes. There is zilzala, there are earthquakes. But this earthquake is the final earthquake. This earthquake is the most violent earthquake. This earthquake is such that the earth will continue to shake until everything on its surface is destroyed. Until the mountains are no more. Until the oceans are no more. Until there is no building Nothing on the earth until the earth will become completely flat and smooth. In Surah Al-Waqi'ah, Ayah 4, يَوْمَ تَرْجُفُ الرَّاجِفَةِ تَتْبَعُهَا الرَّادِفَةِ It will shake not once but twice two major earthquakes. This is الزَّلْزَلَةُ السَّاعَةِ The earthquake of the Day of Judgment. وَأَخْرَجَتِ الْأَرْضُ And the earth will throw out, it will bring out أَثْقَالَهَا its burdens, plural of the word thiql, meaning everything that's inside the earth will now be taken out. Because of the earthquake, there is nothing that will remain inside the earth. Everything will be thrown out. وَإِذَا الْأَرْضُ مُدَّتْ وَأَلْقَتْ مَا فِيهَا وَتَخَلَّتْ It will become empty. وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانِ And the human being will say, مَا لَهَا What is wrong with this earth? Why is this happening? What is going on? And it won't stop there. It's not that the earth will shake and this is something that will amaze and shock the human being. No, something even more amazing will happen, which is that يَوْمَ إِذِنْ On that day, تُحَدِّثُ It will talk. The earth will talk, it will report, it will narrate, just as one narrates hadith. It will narrate, the earth will narrate about what? Akhbaraha, its news, plural of the word khabr. And khabr, remember, it's factual information, true information. The earth will report its news, meaning the earth will begin to talk. This ground will speak. Who did what on me? At which place? Who gave sadaqah? Who prayed? Who lied? Who abused? Who stole? The Prophet ﷺ is reported to have recited this ayah once. And then he said, Do you know what is its information? What is the akhbar that the earth will report? The people said, Allah and His Messenger know best. He said, Verily, its information is that it will testify against every male and female servant about what they did upon its surface. The earth will testify against who? Every male and every female servant of Allah about what they did upon its surface. It will say, So and so did such and such on this day. This is its akhbar. How will the earth talk? Bi anna rabbaka because your Lord awha laha He will have commanded it. Awha, wahi Allah will inspire it meaning Allah will command it. So the earth will not disobey its Lord. It will speak. 
يَوْمَئِذِ that day يَصْدُرُ النَّاسُ people will depart يَصْدُرُ صَادَ الْرَصُدُرُ it's basically to proceed after having water so when people go to a watering hole they go they drink and then once they're done they go away as they're going away they're departing this is sudur so yasduru nasu people will depart they will set out how ashtatan as separated groups ashtat plural of the word shat we have done a similar word earlier shatta inna sa'yakum la shatta this is different this is ashtat same root but the form is different and shat ashtat is used for many groups many categories of different types as allah says fata'tuna afwaja so people will be divided in groups on that day into categories why why will they go where are they going to the hashr to the great gathering for hisab li yurau a'malahum so that they are made to see their deeds they are shown their actions What happens? We do what we want and we forget about it. We say don't think about it. Ignore it. On the day of judgment, li yurau a'malahum, people will be shown their deeds, made to face their deeds, see them. Faman ya'mal, so whoever has done mithqala dharratin, mithqal weight. Of what? Dharratin of an atom. What is an atom? The smallest particle that we know of. So if a person has performed an action that is as small as an atom's weight, and this action happens to be khayran, it happens to be good, then yarahu, you will see it. Because that is the day when you will see your actions. So if there is an action as small as an atom, so small that people don't really give much importance to even that a person will find it before himself this is why the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said do not belittle any good deed any good deed even if you give someone a rope or hand someone a shoelace because sometimes this is all the help that we can offer in given situation all we can do is just pass something on pass something on but even then we say things like oh it's okay they can take it themselves I'm not anybody's servant over here no even if we can pass something to someone that is a small good deed and that will count on the day of judgment it is these little deeds that will make the scales heavy you all have heard the story of the turnip right where a farmer grows a turnip and the turnip becomes really big and one day he decides to pull it out no Okay so he decides to pull it out he's not able to pull it out so he calls his wife and then she pulls the farmer and they together pull the turnip but it doesn't come out so then they call their cow and then their dog and their cat and mouse and what not so finally when the mouse comes and pulls the turnip comes out and what i find amazing about the story is that sometimes it's the mouse that will make a difference it's that little bit that will make all the difference it's that little bit فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرٌ يَرَهُ Haven't you ever gotten an A grade just because you got that 0.5? Has it ever happened? Or you missed out on A because you didn't have an extra 0.5? My university offers like pretty amazing scholarships, you know, depending on your average. So my average... at the end even after like asking teachers for help and what not alhamdulillah it came out to be an 89.8 right and the range that it was in ends at 89.9 and 90 has a whole thousand more added to it and i missed it by 0.2% you know this matters in this world also right fama ya'mal mithqala dharratin خَيْرًا يَرَهُ So do not belittle any good deed. وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَهُ And whoever does an atom's weight of evil will see it. Because Allah does not neglect anything. The Prophet ﷺ said, O Aisha, beware of sins that are belittled. 
Indeed, they will be taken account of by Allah. Never belittle a sin. Never consider a sin to be too small. In Surah Al-An'am, Ayah 38, مَا فَرَّطْنَا فِي الْكِتَابِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ We have not left out anything from the book. In Surah Al-Kahf, مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ لَا يُغَادِرُ الصَّغِيرَةً وَلَا كَبِيرَةً إِلَّا أَحْصَاهَا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم